Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the current support and resistances on Bitcoin, a short trade that I'm currently in, I'll talk you through that and how I am expecting Bitcoin to trade out over the coming weeks. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video and uh, yeah, let's begin, uh, should we start with support resistance? Um, let's start with the resistances that we're currently seeing, okay? This is fairly obvious, okay? What we have here is obviously our initial high at at 8,916, coming down then for a lower high and another lower high where we got this head and shoulders uh, where I was entering some shorts uh, and we have now seen a drop in price. Okay, so from that drop in price, the support is very obvious what we're at right now, and it's the 382 Fibonacci, obviously, from low to high 382. You did get that secondary bounce, and it's still acting as support at the moment. Okay, so if one's trading the range for very truly the range, you'd be looking for longs now to trade it up to the higher the range. I'll be honest, right now in the short that I'm in, I am expecting a another drop down to at least swing further those lows. I think it would be great to take that liquidity. Um, and obviously, so that's targeting around, you know, 8,570. For me, there's some key supports here. And it's 8,570, well, 8,550, 8, let's just say, and 8,450, okay? So these are two very key support levels um, that you've got to be watching for bounces, okay? Obviously, the 618 here coming in at 8,371. Um, but, you know, just as I'll be honest here, actually. Uh, so, you know, here I'm expecting a swing forward of the lows. But I'll be very transparent and honest that last night, obviously before this occurred, before I saw this on the chart. But, um, you know, I was expecting a swing failure pattern of the highs. And I think that this is like a tip that I'll give you all. In trading, it does not matter. Who cares if you are right or wrong? The most important thing is making money. Uh, so at the end of the day, you know, I can say, you know, I was expecting a swing failure pattern of the highs. Um, but I'm more than happy to say, yeah, I was wrong there. And I'll trade the chart for what it's given to me. And, uh, you know, that's what I done last night. <laughs> I'll, re I'll talk, talk you through the process uh, because I think it was quite, quite... Um quite funny. Uh, so yeah, I was given a little source or a little tip that, you know, expect this volatility at 0015. Okay, so obviously England time, um, you know, give or take five, 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, what happened here was the tip was very nice indeed. So uh, you can see here, this was my position that I did post in the group here. This is like a bigger, short up version. But at 12, so exactly 0020, uh, was market shorting into this. And what we had was, uh, well, I'm not going to go into the source, actually, that's for another, probably not even for a video. But what we actually had here in the end was, was a head and shoulders pattern. Okay, so a head and shoulders pattern breaking the neckline. So there was technical reasons as well as that. But um, yeah, that was very nice. And obviously, 8,600, well, we're actually sat at now 8,641. So one could say the short worked out very well. But the, I want what I'm trying to highlight with this is originally, okay, I was expecting this to swing failure to highs. But when you see something on the chart that, you know, your prediction, you, you have to be able to say, you know, my prediction is incorrect. I'm trading what's on the chart, you know, and just lose the ego of saying, I have to be right. And start making money by just trading what the chart's giving to you, if, if that makes total sense, okay? Um, the sa same as what is occurring now. I am expecting a dip down here, at the very least to swing failure to lows, but, but if we just start heading up from here and we start to claim really big resistances as support, well, then I'm going to say, okay, I was wrong there. Uh, time to like close shorts and enter some longs, okay? Um, and that's just not having an ego, I, I guess, being humble to the, to the market and saying, you know, doesn't matter what predictions are at the end of the day you can switch bias like this and you know just trade what the chart gives you essentially um so i hope that that little segment there helped and obviously the the neckline there coming in at around 8800 uh, 8 000, well basically 8800 uh, so i'm going to remove that and what i'd like to show you and i think this is is really 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 nice i'm just going to temporarily remove uh that so you can see this really really clearly and this was the old parallel channel and this is what i've always said like Old channels don't remove them because they will come back into play. And this is a perfect example of this. This is obviously our old channel from September, October time, uh, where we obviously maintained within this channel perfectly from the mid and the highs. Okay, and if we just extend this to the right, look how well it came in back into play. Okay, so our old parallel channel here, well, as you can see, it was, was a little bit of a SR flip here. For coming up, we rejected off of our monthly, coming back down to the lows. And obviously from that lows, we ended our month-long accumulation or, or consolidation range where it was old support acting as resistance 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 this is where it gets amazing you finally broke through that you come up to the midpoint of the channel and monthly resistance before coming down and back testing if you see here really closely you obviously back tested the low of that parallel channel before moving back up to the midpoint you see the rejections here are just so precise rejection from the midpoint rejection from the midpoint pushing through up to the top of the channel 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 and obviously on the top of that channel 
okay, is where you got that inverse head and shoulders, uh, which obviously clearly went to the downside. Um, so, you know, that's just like the power of why you don't remove parallels and like they come back into play. I think that's a really good like example of the resistances that you are facing. Also, there were, you know, several other resistances, to be honest, but uh, this is a pitch fan and you are hitting pitch fan resistance. And on top of that, obviously, you were up against the 618 from high to low, uh, hitting that 618. So obviously, you know, when you start hitting these resistances, it doesn't necessarily mean short. It just means if you are long from, you know, like down here, then this is a take profit region. So if you're longing down here, OK, this is your take profits. OK, doesn't necessarily de mean short, you know, but, you know, um, take profits is, 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 is definitely what you've got to be doing. Like, you know, I was doing that. But, um, you know, from that obviously happening, we have now seen a dip in price. Um, but yeah, what I will say here, <laughs> sorry if I'm going a bit too hyper, a bit fast for you. But, um, you know, what I would say here is that my perspective on the macro. So, you know, we're talking like a week, two weeks, you know, month into the future. I am expecting higher prices, at least sort of just to at least take these highs still. But, um, you know, up to 9,000, 9,150, 9,530 9, are my next two upper targets. And, uh, you know, this is the thing that, you know, I, mean, I am in a short right now, obviously. <laughs> so uh, you might think, well, how can you be in a short and you're bullish? But, you know, I'm just waiting to enter a long at the moment. So, um, you know, be this on a drop in a swing throw of some lows or, or coming down and testing key supports. And the key supports for me are... Well, as I mentioned earlier, the 8, 8450, uh, 8550, 8300. Middle of the old parallel channel that I showed you earlier, by the way, is 8250. Um and, you know, 8,000 is the, kind of the line in the sand. You don't want to be coming over eight, below 8,000. Otherwise, I'll happily say, yeah, I was incorrect being a bit bullish there. And, uh, you know, the chart's actually not great if you come below 8,000 again. So that's a key support, that, you know, an invalidation of, of my, my, my thesis, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah, ultimately... I would like to close out of this short soon and uh, enter along, be that on a reclaim of uh, resistance turn into support or a come down and, and test of support. So, uh, yeah, I'm in a short right now, but I am, you know, actively monitoring this chart to, you know, give me a reason to close out of it and to enter along uh, because I do believe there's some like macro key support levels here on the chart which I'm keen to take advantage of. It's just like timing. Okay, It's just like timing these entries you want to be careful of because, you know, you can have the right directional bias, but if you don't time the entry correctly, then, you know, it's not going to work out. So your timing is just as important as, as, a, as a directional bias, if not more important. Okay, um, so yeah. I guess that's two takeaways from this video, that timing is really, really important. So you got to, you know, get get good on timing entries. And on top of that, doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, lose the ego and just trade what the chart's giving you. So and I guess those are two takeaway tips. You know, making money is more important than being right. Um, so, yeah, that's all I'll end with. You know what the trade that I'm currently in, in a short, but I am looking for... Um, I am looking for actively looking for longs right now because I do believe this is a bullish chart uh, and I've given you the key support and resistance levels uh, that I'm looking at. So, um, yeah, I hope that you thoroughly have enjoyed this one uh, and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.